Hey there YouTube friends. This video is, I'm gonna do a challenge from Marla G. She challenged us to make some fabric flowers and someone had asked on her her video if, uh, let's see what did they ask specifically. I guess they asked if they had to be um, Hmm, I don't remember the exact wording, but it did it did incorporate that it didn't have to be exactly fabric and uh, yarn was acceptable. So I am going to show you how to make a flower. It's a rather simple one. I have some others that I'm going to show you, but there's just this one. This was made with a, a light and lofty type of yarn. I don't use this yarn all that often because it's kind of, um, it's difficult because it, it pulls apart and your hook gets caught and all that stuff. Um, so I don't use it that often, but I had this sitting next to my chair and decided to go ahead and see about making a five petal flower. I don't have any centers to put in them right now. I think when I would go to use these, the center will wait until I know what project they're gonna go on so um, so this one here I'm going to make and uh, just start with the slip knot um, this isn't necessarily a tutorial so I'm just going to create this flower front of the camera. I've never done anything like this before so we'll see how it works. I mean I've made the flowers obviously just never in front of the camera and this particular design isn't necessarily a pattern anywhere it's just something that I have done and it's pretty typical um, flower, nothing extravagant about it. This yarn is splitting right there. It's a little tricky sometimes. It's a softer yarn. Um, it's not, I don't think it's Red Heart uh, Super Saver. I think it's, uh, um, to be honest, I really don't know. I don't have the label on it. It was just, uh, I don't even know where I got the yarn, to be honest. Um, a lot of my yarn is um, stuff that I've acquired through Goodwill or from family. My mom used to crochet a lot. She can't do it anymore because her eyes have gotten bad where she can't see. And she was usually doing the the doilies, um, the threads. So the smaller stuff, obviously. So she uh, plans to just pass that stuff on to me um, in the near future. Just I don't have a rush to receive it. Um, Mostly because of space. I don't really have space for it right now. Um, but yeah. Just a simple flower. This is my fifth petal. That I'm working on right now. And uh, once you get that done, you finish it off. And uh, I'm going to snip that. And then you just pull that through. And then you have your beginning tail right here. If you, I went and crocheted over it, so if I pull it, it pulls the hole in the center smaller. And there we have a five petal flower. And uh, similar to this one. 
so yeah there's those and um so i did go and create some other flowers i um did this one it's a burgundy color and it's uh double layered um if i remember where i got the pattern i'll link it down below in the description um, I'll have to just go back and look at what I've looked at on YouTube because it's a video on YouTube on how to make this ruffly flower and uh, That's bright on there. And then this red one. This is a this is like a Karen simply soft yarn And then this is a red heart super saver um, yarn and so there's those and then I found this one it's uh, four layers it's a yeah a four layer rose um flower it was rather fun to make i had not made one like this before um it was kind of challenging at first to see what was going on and how to make this but um she says um you can go without the two layer or two tone colors and it would be just a regular old flower so there's that one, and then there's this one. I started off making it like these, but I decided to do a different color in the middle, and then a different color here, and then I started putting this green on, and I'm like, mm, I don't like that. I think I'll just leave that and just put them as a leaf. Um, so yeah, those are just a leaf on there. Um, and then I did... Uh, I tried to find a pattern that had a leaf with it and so I did this loopy flower and attached a leaf. I don't really like it too much. It's, I don't know. I probably won't use it for anything. Um, and then I started making another type of flower and this is actually a mistake. Um, I didn't do this one right but just like the way this is it looks good. So I'll keep that there. And this is what I was trying to make, is this three layer flower. And this part right here, this top layer, is this right here. Um, and I didn't attach it um, the correct way to make these other layers. Um, but there's that one. And a while ago I had made some doily size flowers to give to Bori. And, um, this is one of them that I had made, but it didn't make it into her package to give to her. Um, it's just a small doily flower. Um, and this isn't a flower, but it's something I recently made. Uh, I was going to make it for my husband for Valentine's Day, but this heart was too big. Um, so it didn't get put on the project. But, yeah. Um, so these are my flowers that I've recently made, and, um... And this one that I made for you on camera. And I want to thank uh, Darla for this challenge. It's kind of getting me thinking out of my box and out of my comfort zone trying to do something like this on camera. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will link Darla's challenge. It actually ends on the 1st of March, I believe. So you could still get in on her challenge if you like to make flower fabric flowers. I don't think you can use paper. I think her intention was to use non-paper um, for the challenge. So anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.